Ten-year Treasury note yields plummet again, retracing the entire move we saw going back to October 3rd, when then Chair Fed Pal talked about needing more rate hikes uh, and not being anywhere close to neutral. And the and we saw the ten-year note there yield propel itself not only to 312, which was the old high at the time, but all the way up to three and a quarter. Eventually, we've now seen a retracement of 20 basis points back to that 305 level. So the market has really come and done, and now is back to where it started. Uh, and that right now things look a little bit shaky as to trends in the yield. Recall we, we had a very tight market for what, since the middle of May to the middle of September, we traded between 280 and 3%, given a little bit above 3% towards the end there. But ultimately uh, we held that range and then we blew through that range to the upside. We saw sellers come in, we saw leveraged accounts who've been short treasuries forever start to be rewarded. And as quickly as we went up, we came right back down. So it really took about the month of October for us to, to see a, a retracement, a uh, pretty remarkable move that we've seen here over the last week or so, but we have done that. So the market right now kind of in neutral territory again, maybe looking for, for an extension of this buying that we've seen to push yields back to 3%. We won't know that till next week as the market kind of catching its breath right now with 10 year treasury yields hovering at about 306, 307, uh, which is just above the launch area we saw back on October 3rd. So right now, again, we're neutral no longer seeing that bearish bias that we saw for what on the on the entire climb up to 325 and even then some as we hung up near 320 for quite quite a while and now we're back uh possibly leaning towards three percent yield which would be a surprise i think to most given those pal comments and the data we've seen uh most of the data we've seen i should say we did see some sketchy data in the housing market likewise there are rising risk across the globe uh those combined have really seen the treasury market uh you know consolidate lower yields as equities continue to plummet. And if you look at market volatility, yeah, market volatility was higher on a Friday, which is a surprise. We saw it get to its highest level since May, when back when we did see a previous stock correction, but it was short-lived. And volatility right now staying elevated, and it should stay elevated. We've got G20 coming up. We've got U.S. midterm elections coming up. We've got Nova FOMC coming up, which, while well, we're not expecting a rate hike at Nova FOMC, we are expecting some clarity on the December meeting and on 2019, which is still up in the air. Uh, market telling you yields are, or Fed effective is probably going to remain below 3%, while the Fed dots are telling you it's going to go above. So there is a bit of tug of war going on there that will continue in volatility being higher. Uh, suggests that the market is not going to go down without a fight. And lastly, let's look at that twos tens curve, which we had seen steepening. It looked like, we, you know, when, when Chairman Chairman Powell started to speak, we saw yields in the back end of the curve rise. We saw that we saw the curve steepen, uh, and now we've seen it reflatten and starting to trend that way. Obviously, with with the Fed rate hike still on board, uh, two year notes are going to remain firm. But we are seeing yields start to slip in the ten year, and how low they go will will be, pretty much dictate the curve. So right now, the curve looking to target twenty. After seeing the levels much higher, we are sitting around 26. So we're not there yet, but you get below 20, you start to talk about getting to zero and start to talk about inversion, start to talk about those kind of things which are not good for the economy, or at least not good signs for the economy. But right now we're not there yet. We are trending that way, at least at this point. We'll have to see what happens next week at G20 and more importantly, those U.S. midterm elections. This is Todd Colvin coming to you from the floor of the CME Group.